Hey guys, in this video, we are going to compare two biggest footwear manufacturing companies in India and you've guessed it right, they are Bata and Relaxo. I've got a lot of queries from our friends where they are asking me whether to invest in Bata or whether to invest in Relaxo. So I thought of creating a video comparing both the stocks and trying to bring out some key differences so that you can decide which stock is better to invest in. So before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe right now and do follow me, join my telegram channel where we are discussing lot of stock specific ideas, views and also market trends. So let's get started. So Bata, as you know, I, would, I wouldn't take much time in the basics and introduction because there are already separate videos created for both these companies in detail. And you can watch them. I will try to leave the links in the description or you can find those on my channel. So as just as a small introduction, Bata is one of the largest. It is in fact in terms of volume the largest footwear manufacturer in the world. And Relaxo is the biggest Indian homegrown brand in the country. So if we see the business model, both of the companies are into manufacturing. But Bata also collaborates with other brands like Hush Puppies to bring these brands in India and sell them or manufacture them in India and sell them with the other company's brand name. But Relaxo sells only their own brand which they are manufactured by their own company. And Bata's focus is more on quality and a lot of premium branding whereas Relaxo's target is the mass people its target is to get more volumes at reasonable quality at a reasonable price. And Relaxo is a homegrown Indian brand whereas Bata is a multinational company which operates few units in India. So if we see the market capital, Bata's market capital is 17,211 crores as on date and Relaxo is 16,386. So Bata is a slightly bigger stock when compared to Relaxo in terms of market capital. If you see in terms of sales and operations also Bata's turnover and other things are much bigger than Relaxo. If we see the growth plans of these two companies, both of the companies have good growth plans. Bata is trying to reinvent its image in the minds of the people. It is trying to become a youth oriented brand with a new brand image and it, they plan to add 100 stores, new stores company operated stores in financial year 2021. Relaxo recently in financial year 2019 has started a manufacturing a new manufacturing plant in Vivendi to manufacture flip flops. So this shows that the company is looking at further expansion and they know that there is further scope in growth of their products and they are also trying to grow their distribution network in the under penetrated markets because Relaxo is not totally spread across India right now. They have not got into the tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 cities and other neighboring uh, districts and rural areas. So still they feel that there is a lot of scope to penetrate more and more deeper in the Indian market. In terms of sales growth in the last five years and an average sales growth of Bata is about 2.5% and the last three years it is about 6.9%. Relaxo's average sales growth in the last five years is 10.44% and 3 years is 13.76. So in terms of sales growth, you can clearly see that Relaxo is growing faster than Bata. In terms of profit growth, if we see in the last 5 years, Bata's average profit growth is 11%, in the last 3 years is 29. Relaxo's is 11.36 in the last 5 years and last 3 years it is 24.37. So in terms of profitability growth, both of them are similar I would say when compared to each other. In terms of margins, I am comparing only the net profit margins. Profit after tax of both the companies look very similar. Slightly Bata looks better but overall they look similar to me. In terms of debt, if you see Bata is completely debt free company and it has been funding its growth through its own uh, funds which are accruing because of its profits. Whereas Relaxo from time to time, it is taking small loans to fuel its growth for capital expansion. But still Relaxo's debts are all already uh, in control and the debt equity ratio is just 0.13 and the debt is just 166 crores which is 
quite reasonable and in control and they may even make it zero coming in the coming few quarters. Now comparing the return on capital and return on equity, Bata's return on equity is 17.23% and return on equity of Relaxo is 17.78%. I am considering financial year 2020 figures. Return on capital employed Bata's is 20.54. So return on equity uh, capital employed of Relaxo is 21.61. So if you see there is a slight <coughs> better uh, returns in terms of uh, return on equity and capital employed given by Relaxo than Bata. If we see the shareholding here we see an interesting difference. Promoters shareholding in Bata is 52.96 whereas promoters shareholding in Relaxo is almost 71%. So this as an investor gives us lot of confidence in investing in the company because the promoters themselves are holding 71% of the holding. FIIs in Bata are holding 6.91, FIIs in Relaxo are holding 3.28, DIIs are holding 27.59 in Bata, in Relaxo they are holding 19.2. Overall if you see the retail and the other investors are having a share of about 12.54% in Bata but in Relaxo it is only 6.55. So this I feel is one of the strong differentiators in both the stocks. Comparing the P and PB ratios, the Bata's I am considering the entire EPS of the last year March 2020 for this I am not considering the TTM EPS because in the last quarter both the companies were not able to deliver good results because of the COVID situation. So I am taking March 2020 yearly EPS to calculate the PE ratio. I feel that is reasonable. So PE ratio is 51.5 for Bata at the EPS of March and PB ratio is 9.08. Relaxos PE is 70 and PB is 12.88. So if we see in terms of valuation, Relaxo looks more expensive than compared to Bata. If we see the intrinsic value, Bata's intrinsic value as per Benjamin Graham's formula is 350 and uh, last trading price if we see it is almost 3.82 times the intrinsic value. Relaxo's intrinsic value is 200 and it is trading at around 3.2 times its intrinsic value. So both of the stocks are expensive because of their various advantages like their good performance, brand image, goodwill and several other things. Both these stocks trade at a very strong premium when compared to their actual valuations. If we see the returns uh, these stocks have given to the shareholders, in the last 5 years Bata has given about 150% returns and Relaxo has given about 153%. So in the longer time frame both have given similar returns. But in the last 1 year if you see Bata's even after considering the COVID impact Bata's stock is 11% down. Whereas Relaxos is last one year is 45% up. So if we see the recent returns, Relaxo is giving better return. So these are the key factors which I have compared. This is not a conclusive video, but I have tried to cover lot of key and important points so that you can decide. So as a conclusion, I feel Relaxo looks better than Bata in terms of uh, stock investment as the sales growth are faster, the promoter holding is much more. Relaxo is a homegrown brand so people may prefer it as a make in India brand and uh, their return on equity and capital employed is higher in Relaxo. In the last one year it has given more returns. In terms of uh, brand image Relaxo is more value focused so in Covid situation where people are spending less people will try to buy products which are good in quality but at a reasonable price and they have added additional manufacturing facility recently and the company's size is not so big and there is a further scope of expansion in Relaxo. But giving all these advantages, the valuations are high so the company has to justify its higher valuations by performing very good in the coming future quarters. So that's my conclusion and you can comment below in the video what do you feel about these two companies. I would like to know your feedback also. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. Please do subscribe to my channel and encourage me to create more videos. If you want me to create videos on your favorite companies, leave the name of the company in the comment below 
and join my telegram channel thanks for watching and have a great day